Now, the minority leader, Haruna Idusi, has served notice that his side of the House will push for a vote of censure to remove Finance Minister Ken Oforiata for breach of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, which prohibits expenditure deficit beyond 5% of GDP. Now, the bill is categorical that Parliament should pass a vote of censure to remove the Finance Minister if he overspends. Now, although the Finance Minister has admitted to this, he says COVID-19-related challenges have made it inevitable. The Finance Minister yesterday laid a paper in Parliament requesting a suspension of the Act. But Haruna Adrisha says the Minister must be sanctioned. I will now refer you to another quote. I just saw the Majority Leader lay a paper. And Mr. Speaker, paragraph 444, very significant. How I wish the Minister for Finance himself is here. Request for approval of supplementary estimates what I refer to as the variation in the figures, 109.9 billion, you are asking for 11.8 billion, when your expenditure plan only accounts for 53 billion. We need explanations for that. But Mr. Speaker, respectively, let me refer you to paragraph 438, unthinkable and unimaginable. Instead of doing what is needful under the Public Financial Management Act, the minister is coming for what he calls, and I quote, Mr. Speaker, from development thus far, it is clear that the fiscal rules of a deficit not exceeding 5% of GDP and a positive primary balance enshrined in the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2018, Act 982, are neither feasible nor attainable. When? Is it only for 2020 or is it only for 2020 or 2019, 2018, 2017, where we within the regime of fiscal deficit. What he himself said in the law was that if he exceeds the fiscal, if he exceeds the fiscal deficit of 5%, he will go home and that he should be sanctioned. So to evade the sanctions, he has come that parliament should suspend the law. We will not suspend the law he will undergo the sanctions spelled out in the Fiscal Responsibility Act. He defined it for himself. Well, the Finance Minister, Ken Oferiata, says the move was inevitable. It is truly unfortunate that an attempt has been made um, to politicize the issue of... I mean, if you read the Act, it says what? Catastrophe, force majeure. Are you suggesting I could have prevented the pandemic? I'm, I'm just asking. They think have, you could have cut other expenditures. I, I could have avoided the. I should. Have, I could have avoided could have the oil expenditures. prices. And then what would you? You know, when you look at the care and the uh, cap program, what did we spend the money on? You know, the lockdown period, the average Ghanaian not being able to access food, um, lifeline, electricity. I mean, the issue of governance is to make sure that you keep your people alive. It's very easy to say, cut it out until you see people on the street. This is a government that cares and will not compromise the lives of our people in any way. Thank you.